Go. So, here we are at another garden associated with the uh, Occupy Youngstown um, gardening project. Uh, you probably saw, I hope you saw some of the videos from the greenhouse because they were cool. What I'm doing now is making a couple of signs for gardeners to be able to uh, identify what it is they've done. Um, we think that's important. People are proud of their stuff. Some of the stuff is silly, but they're proud of it. Like lots of jewelry on the garden and stuff. That's okay for some people, but I'm not wild about it. Jewelry? Just, yeah, they put trinkets and stuff. I brought some for somebody, as a matter of fact. This is what I call jewelry, okay? Uh, these will edge um, lettuce. Oh, okay. Okay? Because okay. some people have such small gardens, they put lots like of... I was thinking like diamonds and pearls and things. Well, that's by, by, my, by my assessment they are. I'll make these signs later. The idea is take recycled wood or stuff from the Amish sawmill, wood, uh, pack it together and make it a sign for somebody's garden. Um, we have tons and tons of leaves in this garden. You can see a pile here. Um, actually, 25 truckloads. So that's, I don't know whether it's tons or not, but it's a lot. Um, and mostly this is to feed us and others. Uh, I can't tell you the last thing we sold. We may never have. Probably not. It's not our style. Check it out. Peas. From donated seeds. Look how tall they're getting. Cool. Beautiful, huh? There's none in here to start the flower yet, but some of the others have. And, um, Joe, you and I will get to taste them, but the uh, viewers, SOL. Sorry, out of luck. Um, these are strawberries. Check out this one. Let me pull it out for you. Isn't that a gorgeous strawberry? It is, absolutely. And guess what? Mm. Oh, God. That should be illegal to be that sweet. <laughs> oh, that's good. Garden of Eden. Mm. Yeah, that's E A T E N, Eden. Mmm. Man, that was tasty. That's not ripe yet. You gotta make sure they're ripe, you know? Somebody was through here picking, I could tell. Look great. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Worth the stretch. Put that in your face, Joe. Go ahead, taste that. Okay. Mm. Delicious. Oh, they're good, aren't they? Oh, man. Save these two for taking home. Okay. Right there. Yeah, there's more in here, but we got other stuff to do. You want one or two more to eat? Actually, I need, um, I need a hand to operate the camera. <laughs> well, give me those. <laughs> give me the berries then. Here's an old farmer's trick. Oh, people say, how come that old man always has his t-shirts on inside out? Well, because the dirt and the stain gets on the inside first, and when you wear them, when you're the way you're supposed to wear them, they're not as dirty. That's why my shirts are inside out on every video you see of me, if I'm working that day in the farm. Someone mentioned that when they watched last week's video. Yeah, why is his shirt on inside out? Now, now people know. Now they know. It's not just because I'm an eccentric old bastard. <laughs> no, no. So that's the strawberry test. This, it was a... Uh, here when we got the property. Rhubarb, transplanted from Netherlands. That means elsewhere, not the country. Um, we're gonna till this up and plant here. You can see where it used to be a big bed there. We're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna do this one here too. It's gonna grow. Uh, we put down cardboard, then we put down leaves. Now what does the cardboard do? Stop sitting ground. Just leaves. Like weeds yeah, and so stuff. Okay. Call it, sunscreen if you want. Call it what? Sunscreen. This is a pretty new bed of um, vegetables, but I'm not even sure what's in there. Uh, we didn't plow this stuff under because it's food left over. Some of it's food from left over from last year. Like this. Good stuff. Mm. I'm hungry too. I need this. <laughs> Broccoli, cauliflower, and kale. So, down here, joining on the fence, a row of peas, planted late, a row of beans here, at that brick, another row of beans for a little bit while longer. 
Lamb's Quarter. I love Lamb's Quarter. I have probably one of the only people who actually grows it because they like it that much. Most people just eat it as a weed. Oh, this, 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 this is a pea. Look at that. That beautiful? Beautiful. Eat that. Eat that. Mm. Oh, sorry. Come to me. Oh. If you can't find it, there's more. Okay. Here, try that one. Okay. Aren't they? Mmm. That's right. And the smaller they are, the better they are. Mmm. Mmm. Way too many over here. We better eat some, huh? You think? Yes. They should not be that sweet. That could be illegal. Mm. Like here, take these two. Eat them. They're good. Mmm. Look at this potatoes. Experiments. Half the row is in buckets. And half the row is not. And they're the same potatoes. Fantastic. Yeah, we want to see if we can harvest potatoes out of a bucket and not have to do all the damage to the um, environment. Mm-hmm. So, here, check this out. Look, this one that I haven't buried properly because it's too small. Cool, huh? Mm-hmm. That should contain them. So we got that, we got potatoes here, potatoes here, five different kinds of potatoes. We just throw of onions. Late planted. Oh, beautiful. Look at the next row of onions. Half of it early planted, then planted again, then planted again, then planted again. So what we have is eat our way down the row. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Cool. Stevia. You know stevia? Yes. This is the natural form. You've ever tasted it off the vine? No, I haven't. Pop that whole thing in your mouth. Mmm. <coughs> <coughs> Isn't it amazing? Yes, it is. How can it be so sweet? It'll still be good for you, but it is. I want to get some stevia when um, we can harvest it to add to like iced tea and stuff. Mm. Absolutely. <coughs> garlic. These onions are man. Oh, garlic. Mm -hmm. These are onions. You see? About the tops that were snapped off. Check out this. Mmm. Right. Here, eat that. Mmm, delicious. Mm -hmm. That woman was very sweet. That was one very hot and spicy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you don't like spicy food, you should probably not be eating onion tops. Want another one? These taste like the onions that came out of my uncle's garden. Here, have another. <coughs> All right, potatoes, onions. That onion was ha as pretty much a failed crop. Let's go look at a failed crop. Gotta got show the world failure in gardening too. They think it's so easy. It's not. You screw a lot of stuff up. This is supposed to be the same as that one down there. See how those onions have came out really nice? Mm -hmm. kinda, most of them didn't germinate. And they didn't? And the ones that did germinate didn't grow well. Somebody hasn't gotten to weeding the garlic. But there's just too much to do. Yes. Anyway, this most of what we get here, we feed ourselves and we feed other people. That's what it is. The Occupy Youngstown, Occupy Warren uh, Garden Project uh, as part of Randy's Rants. Thank you, Randy. You're welcome. Bye, everybody.